Hello my students, teacher Abraham Awad with you in this period. In this period we are going to solve a problem about lines and coordinate system. Let's go. At the beginning, please read carefully the following uh, problem. Let us begin. Number one, we want to draw D1 and D2. To draw the equation of any straight line, we must choose any value of x and substitute it in the equation. Then we calculate the value of y. For, uh, for x equals 0, we, we get y equal minus 3. For x equal minus 1, we get y equal minus 1. Then the points 0 minus 3 and minus 1 minus 1 are two points on uh, D1. Now we put this, the, these points on the graph. Then we join these points, we get d1. d2, y equal half x minus half. For x equal 1, we get y equal 0. And for x equal 3, we get y equal 1. The points 1, 0, and 3, 1 are two points on y. We put these two points on the graph and join them, we get D2. Number two, the lines D1 and D2 cuts X axis and uh, at B and Y axis at C respectively. We want to calculate the coordinates of B and C. To calculate the coordinates of the intersecting point between any two straight lines, we must solve a system of equation. In this case, we, uh, we want to solve the system of equation between D1 and X axis to calculate B. In this case, we can solve uh, this system of equation by comparison y equal y, then minus 2x minus 3 equal 0. We solve this equation, we get x equal minus 3 over 2 or minus 1.5. So b equal minus 1.5, 0. Put b on the graph. To calculate the coordinate of c, we need the equations of D2 and Y axis. We solve this system of equation by substitution. Substitute X equals zero uh, uh, in the equation of D2. Then we get Y equal minus half or minus 0 0.5. So C equal zero and minus 0 0.5. Put C on the graph. Part three. The lines D1 and D2 intersect at A. Calculate the coordinates of A. To calculate the coordinates of A, we must solve the system of equations of D1 and D2. D1 equal D1, Y equal minus 2X minus 3. D2, Y equal half X minus half. By comparison, y equal y, then minus 2x minus 3 equal half x minus half. By solving this equation, we get 
uh, x equal minus 1. Substitute the value of x equal minus 1 in equation of d1 or d2. It's easier to substitute it in equation of d1. Then y equal minus 2 into minus 1 minus 3 uh, by calculation, then y equal minus 1. So the coordinates of a is minus 1 minus 1. We put it on the graph. 3b. Show that the triangle ABC is a right triangle at A. At the beginning, we calculate the coordinates, uh, the, sorry, we calculate the products of slopes of D1 and D2 to check if D1 and D2 are perpendicular. Slope of D1 equal minus 2, slope of D2 equal half, then minus 2 times minus times half equal minus 1, then D1 and D2 are perpendicular. But A and B are two points on D1, A and C are two points on D2, therefore ABC is right triangle at A. Number 4. Let's see B, the circumscribed circle about the triangle ABC, show that the line T is tangent to C. To prove that any line is tangent to a circle, we must prove that this line must be passing through any point on the circle and is perpendicular on its radius or on its diameter. Let us check if T belong uh, if b is a point on t we substitute the coordinates of b in the equation of t we get uh, 0 equal 3 into minus 1.5 plus 4.5 then after calculation we get 0 equal 0 then we can say that b is a point on t now let us prove that t is perpendicular on B, C. Slope of T equal 3. Slope of B, C equal minus 1 over 3. By multiplying the slopes of T and B, C by each other, we get 3 times minus 1 over 3 equal minus 1. Then T is perpendicular to B, C. BC is the diameter of the circle C, and B is a point on C, hence T is the tangent of C at B. Number five, let E and F be the symmetric of B and C with respect to A respectively. Calculate the coordinates of E and F. Since E is the symmetric of B with respect to A, then A is the midpoint of B, E. Then X, A equal X, B plus X, E over 2. By calculation, we get X, E equal minus half and Y, E equal minus 2. Hence, E equal minus half and minus 2. We represent it graphically. We get E in this position. Now, we want to calculate the coordinates of F. By applying the rule of midpoint, we get X F equal minus 2 and, uh, and uh, Y F equal minus 3 over 2. Hence, F equal uh, minus 2 and minus 3 over 2. We represent it graphically. We get F in this position. 5B. Show that quadrilateral BCEF is a square. Since A is the midpoint of BE and FC by symmetry, then we can say that BCEF is a par. B and E are two points on D1. F and C are two points on D2. Since D1 and D2 are perpendicular, then we can say that BE and FC are perpendicular.
then B, C, E, F is a rhombus par with perpendicular diagonals. But F, B, C equal 90 degrees or right angle, angle of tangency, then we can say that B, C, E, F is a square rhombus with one right angle.